Do you listen to a combination of offline and online music? Maybe you go back and forth between streaming music on Apple Music or Spotify and playing music that you downloaded years ago from Napster or Burn from a CD. You know who you are. Or maybe you have a combination of media players in your house, such as Sonos, HomePods, or Nest smart speakers, and you'd like the ability to play any of your music from any of those speakers. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm doing this using Music Assistant on Home Assistant. But there is one media player that I wished worked with this, which I'll explain in a bit. Everything that I cover is also featured in an article on my website. You can find a link to it along with any of the featured tech in the video description. If you're new here, I'm Michael Lane and I cover how tech can make you more productive. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Music Assistant is a music library manager for your offline and online music. You can use it to listen to your saved music files and play your favorite streaming music on a variety of speakers. It supports a ton of music providers, including Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, Tidal, SiriusXM, SoundCloud, Plex, Jellyfin, and a bunch more. In addition to those providers, Music Assistant can also access the music saved on your local disc or in a remote share like a NAS. It can even access radio stations. You can then play music from any of those providers to most of your favorite players. It supports AirPlay, Google Cast, Sonos, and the media players added to your Home Assistant server, among others. Unfortunately, it does not officially work with Amazon Echo devices, which is one media player that I wish it also supported. This has to do with Amazon APIs and not some kind of limitation of Music Assistant. Before I show you how to set this up, what exactly are the benefits of using Music Assistant over whatever else you might be using? Well, I think there are several things that make Music Assistant worth considering. First, it supports multiple music sources, streaming from Apple Music or Spotify, playing locally saved music on a computer. Second, you can cast this music across a variety of speakers, including those that use AirPlay, Google Cast, and more. This allows you to create your own multi-speaker or multi-room audio setup the way you want it. Third, it supports all the stuff you'd want from a robust music manager, including artist and track metadata for beautiful album artwork, playback synchronization across supported speakers, and even announcements during music playback, among other things. Finally, because it's a Home Assistant integration, you get the benefits of a powerful home automation platform. This means you can do things like trigger music playback based on all kinds of scenarios, like when you enter a certain room, return home, take a shower, based on time of day, based on who is home and who is not home, and so much more. It also means you can control music playback from a custom smart home dashboard on your mobile phone, a wall-mounted tablet, or on a computer. All right, let's take a look at how to set this up and then how to use it. All right, so I've got my Home Assistant server open here. Music Assistant is available as a Home Assistant add-on. So I'm gonna to go to the Music Assistant installation page, and I can just click right here, show add-on on my Home Assistant. I'm gonna click that, then open link, and it takes me right to the add-on now in my Home Assistant server, asking me if I want to install the Music Assistant server. I'm gonna go ahead and click Install. Okay, now that it is installed, you can go ahead and enable these options if you want them, such as Watchdog, Auto Update. I think, I'd say Show in Sidebar is the one you're gonna want to enable at a minimum, so it's easy to access Music Assistant going forward. Once you've configured it the way you'd like there, go ahead and click Start. Okay, so Music Assistant server has now started. I can go to the log and confirm that it has started up as expected. Nothing needs to be done for now in the configuration section. So now I'm going to go to settings, device and services. You can see that music assistant has been auto discovered right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and click submit and then finish. So that means I've installed now both the music assistant add on and the integration in home assistant. So I can go to Music Assistant now on the left-hand side navigation to go right into it. 
Before I continue, I want to briefly share a cool product that I use from today's sponsor, Zeus. You may have several electronics in your home that you wish you could control wirelessly, but they're technically not smart devices. Or you might be curious how much electricity they are using. If so, then the Zeus Zen 20 power strip might be a good fit for you. It has five outlets and two USB ports. You can turn power on and off for all seven independently and track the energy used by each connected device. The power strip also acts as a Z-Wave range extender, giving your Z-Wave mesh network a boost. In the event of a power outage, each outlet will remember and restore the on-off status of each connected device. I have been using this to power and track the energy consumption of my home office, including a computer, monitor, printer, docking station, and lights. Or you could use it in an entertainment setup with a TV, gaming console, speakers, receiver, and more. Just remember that this power strip is for indoor use only. The total amperage on load for the entire strip should not exceed 15 amps, so don't use it with things like washers, refrigerators, or electric heaters. It does have overload protection and will shut off if the total power draw exceeds 1800 watts. See the link in the description if you'd like to check it out, and thanks to Zeus for supporting the channel. Let's start by configuring music providers. I'll first show how to add Apple Music as a streaming provider since the steps are a little strange. You can always refer to Music Assistant's documentation for instructions to add your preferred music provider. Let's go ahead and start by adding a music provider. I'm gonna click Apple Music, and you can see it wants something called a music user token. So how do you get that? Well, to get that, you're gonna to wanna to visit music.apple.com. Once you have visited that on a Chrome browser, go to View, Developer, and Developer Tools. Then you wanna to go to Application. If you don't see it, you may need to expand this window. And then from Application, you wanna to go to Under Storage, Cookies, and music.apple.com. And from in here, you wanna find this thing called a music sorry, called a media user token. Click it, and you'll see the cookie value down below. You wanna copy that, and now go back to Music Assistant and paste that in as your music user token, and then click Save. Now, let's see how you might do this for music that you've acquired over the years and have saved locally in a file system. There are several ways to approach this, and I'll show you what I'm using. I have about 7,000 songs saved locally. This includes digital tracks I've purchased, songs ripped from a CD years ago, and music that I acquired in other ways during the earlier days of the internet. I have all those songs saved in a folder called Music on my Synology NAS. I have Plex Media Server running on this NAS, which makes it really easy to play all of my locally saved music, movies, and TV shows. So to bring all of this music into Music Assistant, I'm gonna choose Add Music Provider and then Plex Media Server Library. And it wants something called the local server IP and local server port. One easy way to do this is to just authenticate locally since I'm here on my local network. But in order to authenticate locally, you need to make one change in the settings of your Plex Media Server. To do that, open up your Plex media server on a browser, and you wanna to go to settings and then network. Under list of IP addresses and networks that are allowed without auth, you want to enter the IP address of the computer running Music Assistant. In my case, that's gonna be my Home Assistant server. To find the IP address of that server or any device on your network, you're gonna to wanna to log into the admin settings for your router on a browser. So I've copied that IP address for my Home Assistant server as running Music Assistant. I've added that here, I can click Save Changes. Then you would paste that IP address right here back in Music Assistant and click Authenticate Locally. Alternatively, you could authenticate with My Plex, which will just ask you to log in to your Plex account. Once you have music providers configured, you're ready to add player providers. These are the devices or speakers that will play the music in your house. I'll show you how to do this with the media players you've added to Home Assistant. Click Add Player Provider, 
Then choose Home Assistant Media Players. If you see this pop up, just click OK and then click Save. Now you can do that again. Click Add Player Provider, Home Assistant Media Players. And now there's a drop down of all the media players that are currently available within your Home Assistant. Just note that if a media player is here, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can use it with Music Assistant. For example, Amazon Echo devices may show up here if you have them in Home Assistant, but that doesn't mean you can actually play music to them because of that API limitation that I mentioned before. I'm gonna go ahead and add these Sonos speakers and then click Save. With both a music provider and a player provider configured, you're ready to start listening to songs through the Music Assistant. To play music, you can use the navigation menu at the bottom to look for particular artists or albums or tracks or any playlists or radio stations that you have added as well. Or you can go to the search field and just search for a song that you want to play. When you find a song you want to play, you can just click it and or you can click the three dots next to it and click play now. Clicking into the song, we have this nice album and artist artwork behind it. I can go ahead and just click play. That will start playing the song on the selected player providers. To change the player provider, you can come down to this player provider icon down here and you can choose which ones you want to play that music on. You can click one provider to expand and see all of the others. You can click the checkbox next to others where you want to play that music as well. Or you could click the three dots next to a speaker and click synchronize with another player and then choose which player you want to synchronize with. And that way you'll get that music playing across multiple speakers all in sync. But you don't have to find and play music manually. This is Home Assistant after all, so you can incorporate into your home automations. I'll show one simple example of this. I'll go to Settings, Automations, and I'll click this Test Automation right here. Let's say you want to have music start to play when you enter a specific room. Well, to do that, your trigger could be when a motion sensor detects motion in that room, and then you can now use the new Music Assistant Play Media for the action. And there, you can select the specific media player entity that you want to play music. You can specify one or multiple, and then you can come down and choose the media type. You can specify a certain artist, album, playlist, track, or a radio station, and you can use the media IDs to specify which artist or which album or which track you wanna play or which streaming media provider you want to use here. You can also use this, use this to specify multiple individual songs that you maybe you want to play. So with that simple automation, whenever motion is detected in this room, it will start to play the particular song or playlist that I have selected. So that's a look at what Music Assistant is, why you might wanna use it, how to set it up, play music, and include it in your home automations. For me, it's yet another example of how Home Assistant just gets better and better over time thanks to developers in the open source community. Let me know in the comments how you're using music in your smart home and what you think of Music Assistant. If you're interested in how to add items to a shopping list in Home Assistant using your voice, I'll leave a link to that video. If you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a member using the links in the description or picking up some of my smart home merch. Remember to like and subscribe before you leave. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, the kids have been having a hard time waking up lately. Maybe I should play certain music to help wake them up. That ought to do it.